Growing up, a lot of people would say that I was the shyest person they'd ever met. Then, at age 19, I got an autism diagnosis. It wasn't shyness. It was autism. But how did teachers, doctors, and family miss this seemingly huge fact? People who are shy often feel uncomfortable or self-conscious. They fear others' judgment and rejection. Sometimes, a nice person will help the shy person feel included, and they realize that if they just came out of their shell a little bit, everyone would love them and think they're fun to be around. But for me, it was a bit different. Horse birth or fowling is a fascinating process. Did you know a mare's gestation period typically lasts about 11 months? Then once the time arrives, the mare finds a secluded spot to give birth. Most fowls are born at night, when the predators are less active. Newborn fowls are able to stand and walk within hours of birth based on a documentary I saw on Animal Planet. There were no words like autism or social difficulty used to describe me as a kid. All of the kids thought I was weird, but even worse, the adults also hated me. Imagine beefing with a five-year-old. But they said I was rude, disrespectful, annoying, unladylike, and I should know better. By age 10, I stopped talking about my interests or responding beyond a few words. Being shy or self-conscious is when you're afraid of how others might see you. But I felt no fear. I knew how they'd react. Hey. You're quiet, aren't you? Well, that's okay. My name is George. And being like shy felt like I had evolved like a Pokemon from subhuman to human. Finally, I was safe. No one ever needed to know about the real person I was inside. If I could just keep them silenced, I could be this shy person and loved. Well, normally with that performance, I don't pass people, but you just remind me so much of my granddaughter. She's shy too. But it was a weird feeling, as if my body was making connections with people, going through the motions, and despite me saying almost nothing, they seemed to think they were connecting with me. It was like being loved through a strainer. I knew these shiny normal people would hate the real me. I just knew it. I knew when I went to lunch with my friend Kathy that she and I were different that she couldn't understand the air conditioner was too loud for me, my clothes were too itchy, I struggled to put my socks on this morning, and the only thing getting me through it all was that I was replaying a Sonic the Hedgehog game for the 40th time. Hey, look at those guys over there. Talking about video games in public, it's just childish, right? When I was alone, I was a totally different person. I enjoyed my odd hobbies, spending hours making databases of items and video games, researching bizarre animal facts, and writing the edgiest poetry, because how else was I supposed to keep sane living this double life? Sometimes, fascinating, awkward people would come into my life. People who would say things with no filter. They had tons of interesting hobbies and different ideas. Oh yeah, and everyone else was annoyed by them, other than me. A lot of friends I made at this time were autistic. For some reason, we would just get along, although I didn't know why. And I really valued their friendships. It is in my personal opinion that one guy in my friend group started behaving creepily towards me. Why is he out there? I have to pee. Damn communal bathrooms. But I had been taught all my life to keep my real thoughts inside. So, I just kept letting it happen. My boyfriend at the time was worried. You can't keep having this guy follow you around. Okay, well, he has autism. Maybe he doesn't know any better. I don't know how to tell him to stop in a way that he would understand. Autism? What is, what is autism? I don't really know. I guess I'll look it up. This is like a list of all the things I keep trying to fix about you. Eye contact, rudeness, fidgeting. What? 
Uh, no, it's not. I can't believe my girlfriend has the same thing as that freak. Some autistic people are able to act like they aren't autistic for a period of time. This is often called autistic masking. Family, friends, and doctors will miss the child's autism as it wasn't caught early enough and now they've learned this defense mechanism. Deep down is the child who was told they were too weird, too rude. So they built a mask to keep people from seeing their real self. And many of them will never be found. Shortly after this happened, I went to a psychologist and got immediately diagnosed with autism. And I was given words. Words to describe what is happening when people meet me, so they can actually understand me before judging me. And honestly, once they learn these new words, other people have been a lot nicer and more understanding than ever. I started hanging up my shy disguise. I started being able to connect with people on a real level. But nowadays, I am starting to get a bit nervous when talking to people. You know, because I'm actually talking to them. Because sometimes they like me, but what if they don't? I feel a little self-conscious. I guess you could be both shy and autistic. <laughs>